Hey folks, today on Hopped Up, we're going to review Moon Pie by Naked River Brewing. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking. I am Ben, there is Jay, and Andy is once again locked in his attic uh, like Rapunzel uh, without the hair. Uh, so today, Jay, what, what are we going to be drinking today? So we are going up to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're going to go visit naked river brewing company they have a chocolate moon pie stout uh andy you want to tell us where it comes in and uh, abv yes i do it is eight and a half percent abv 64 ibus and it is brewed with 100 percent moon pie out of the chattanooga bakery Let's I'm crack. Excited. Let's I'm crack. intrigued. It's been yes. in my fridge. I've been staring at it. Tempted to try yes, it before we got to review it. As we have done this uh, the last little bit here, there are certain beers that definitely catch your eye and you think, I cannot wait to try that one. I, yeah. I think this has definitely been one, uh, as you mentioned for me as well, that I have been very excited to give, uh, give a try. The intrigue of just a moon pie stout so yes and it is very dark uh, you can smell all yeah i mean no. it definitely not translucent no nope. smell the chocolate in there for sure absolutely <laughs> cheers mates cheers mates cheers mates so it's a i've had this yeah man <laughs> i've had this before and, and thought you guys would love to try it so do you do you know the story behind the the beer that hung the moon as they call it that's what this one is yeah they say uh, the beer that hung the moon no i don't know the story so naked river brewing is owned by a couple uh jake and liz and jake was always doing hometown small batch brews and he he made this special brew for Liz for their wedding. And it is what has become the moon pie chocolate stout. Wow. Oh. Do you know them? I mean, you're on first name basis. No. Okay. <laughs> it's like Jake and Liz are like, wow. I was like, why have you not told me this story before? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, truth be told, Jay may not know them, but because of, you know, hopped up beer review, <laughs> I'm sure that they know Jay. <laughs> So, <laughs> truth be told, I like, truth be bold. That's a rather <laughs> bold statement. Uh, so. Oh, gosh. I like, uh, I, I, you know, kind of reviewing their sites. It was pretty neat. You know, they're a brewery, a restaurant, and beer garden out of Chattanooga. And uh, their motto is keep it naked. So, um, they support um, practices that uh allow the rivers lakes and waterfalls to uh to thrive in the region um since if people who aren't familiar chattanooga is a very beautiful area with a great river it's right there on mountains, the tennessee yeah uh, right and uh a lot of hiking a lot of outdoor activities yeah right up the river for me you know tennessee mm -hmm. uh, is where i've grown up and uh they did a great revitalization of the, the Chattanooga downtown waterfront area mm -hmm. several years back. Uh, I remember going as a, a young child to the Chattanooga Choo Choo and staying on the, the train cars. Um, that was always like one of the weekend getaways. With Yeah, this is um, it is categorized as a pastry stout, chocolate pastry stout. So paste, pastry stouts, they're intentionally sweet um made with kind of sweet additives such as lactose and um vanilla chocolate graham crackers it's to mimic like the desserts flavor of dessert and i, I say that is 100 moon pie to me i mean 
it's been a while since I've had a moon pie, but I, I don't forget the taste of a moon pie and smelling that is that's a chocolate moon pie. Yeah, it's definitely definitely dessert. Um, mm -hmm. you know, uh it's it's uh probably the last beer of the night you want to have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh if you're going for this out of your fridge. So it's it's very interesting, uh uh to say the least. Well, it's, are we ready to rate? I'm I'm all there are the, the virgins on this one. Virgin. Um, I'll go ahead. It's uh this is this is a fun beer. I I really like it. Um again, I'm stouts are high on my preference list and to to mix in this that moon pie and to make it taste like a moon pie. Um, I'm, I'm going eight and a half. That, it's a, that's fun. I, you know, I would drink it over and over. Definitely. I would try it with floats um, and with some vanilla ice cream, things like that. So eight and a half. Good beer. Yeah. Um, I, I'm first going to say cheers to uh, Curtis moon pie uh, out there. Uh, somebody yeah. we all know and love. So uh if and when he never watches this <laughs> cheers curtis um but uh but with that um it is very interesting i think um one of the things i kind of take away from it, it it's very thick you know uh it, it definitely you, you take a sip and it stays you know it almost just coats your mouth um I don't know that I like that a lot. Uh, for me, that's just, <laughs> I don't, you know, so I like the taste that it gives off. And it definitely is a moon pie, as you say, Andy. So if, if you're somebody out there that likes, you know, having moon pies, hey, here's your beer. Um, me, I've never been a big moon pie, moon pie fan. Um, so the beer for me is not one that I drink it again, but it's I'm, I'm going to skip over it for something else, you know, probably a different style or, or something like that. So um, for me, I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Well, it's, it's one that I've enjoyed and I, I can completely understand. It's, it's got that, you know, stickiness where you can even turn the glass and see it. There are a few of those um, I've had, uh, but I really enjoy it. Um, I doubt they're more to me, cold weather beers when I want to have a stout, but in this case, this is more like Andy saying, it's a dessert beer. You, you're going to want to have one of these, like you said, and right before bed or something like that. The last beer of the night. Um, I do enjoy it. Uh, I agree with Andy. I rated it an eight and a half. So it's one that I definitely have again. And, and it, it only gets better. So, all right. Apologize for the audio issues there, Jay. You had a couple, but you know that's okay. Dang it, uh, Jay. It's okay. Yeah. That gives us a seven point seven for the Moon Pie uh, Chocolate Stout uh, Pastry Stout out of uh, Naked River Brewing Company. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, definitely an interesting beer. Be sure to give it a try if you come across it. Uh, and uh, I think you'll uh, be as excited to try something new as we have today. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Also, check us out on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, what's the other one? Instagram. Uh, description below. Uh, uh, links below in the description. Yeah, this has been one of those episodes where it's just all off the rails, right? Um, with Here's that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> preemptively cut me put off. It, put it to bed. <laughs> yeah. for, for Jay and Andy in the attic, I am dead. Thanks for checking us out. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.